Zdravstvut, Tito Vrishi, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another glorious day lies ahead of our glorious nation as we continue to work towards the future, as we continue to improve the lives of our many citizens. Folks, I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. Just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. With that said, let's get this party started. There is quite a bit to do today. There are quite a few problems I would like to try and tackle, and I've got some uh, excellent suggestions in the comments from the previous episode and from episodes prior as well with regards to how we might want to go about doing exactly that. Now, the first order of business actually is all the way up top over here. Seems I've uh, made a bit of a mistake. Actually, sorry. Before I get into this, the first order of business for me is actually always to just do a double check on the population statistics. I like to keep a track of this um, so that I can go back after episodes are done and, and kind of get a little review personally uh, right at the beginning before we touch anything, how things are looking, uh, and, and then we can kind of, you know, it, it kind of creates this uh, uh, archive of sorts, uh, records, archival records of sorts, I guess. So population is at 89.5, looking decent. If we go ahead, this year is not nearly long enough, so why don't we go ahead and say, um, why don't we go ahead and say count from January of last year. Population is slowly creeping up still. It looks like we're reaching a, a point of stagnation. We're reaching that equilibrium, perhaps. Um, we are seeing quite a few 21 pluses still living with their parents. This is something I want to solve uh, you know, as quickly as possible. It's been pointed out that uh, over here at uh, Smolenets, we actually need to have three times as many workers as I'd calculated. Because yes, it keeps slipping my mind that the uh, workers work in shifts, of course. No one works 24 hours a day. And some of these things, well, all these things, I suppose, need to stay operational for 24 hours a day. So you need to split the day up into three shifts, which means you need three workers per slot. So, you know, this doesn't need 100 workers. It needs 300 workers if it needs to, uh, you know, if you want it to stay operational 24-7, uh, which, of course, we do. So with that said, I, I need to do some massive, uh, you know, expansions up at Smolenets. I'm wondering if we build some of the uh, bigger buildings across the river uh, from Smolenets first instead, uh, just to get uh, some of those high-rises and mid-rises. Well, I guess these are mid-rises. Get some of those high-rises down. Again, I've got some great mods I want to use. I've got some new mods as well that I haven't even shown you before, uh, all added to my mod list. You can find that in the uh, Discord, link in the description below. But, um, yeah, I'm wondering if I do that because that'll give us some density uh, with some concentrated... Uh, well, it'll give us some density in quick time, in short order, and then we can get those people bust down to, uh, to, to party at, uh, or alternatively, we do the, uh, you know, the expansion in this kind of um, circular direction along the coast. It'll take a bit longer to get our numbers up, but uh, it'll, you know, it, it's part of the plan. We'll be doing it eventually. Anyway, I just wonder about uh, timing. That's all. Uh, anyway, that's that's that really quickly taken care of. That'll hopefully help with the 21 pluses situation. Um, our, you know, all these issues that we were having uh, just a handful of sessions ago seem to have been solved. It does look like government loyalty has once more stagnated, so uh, let's see what we can do to pump that up again. I think it's because, you know, you get new people, I think, I'm just guessing here. You get new people showing up in the nation again. They're born, uh, they're not loyal at birth, you know, that happens over time. And so I feel like that kind of slows down the growth when our growth rate is high. I, I don't know, just a just a guess, because they have to be made loyal, you know, they have to be uh, taught what makes our nation so glorious so that they can truly be loyal and not just say, oh yeah, well, I'm from here, and so I must like it, right? Um, <laughs> overall, though, things seem to be doing quite well. I think we're uh, we're okay as far as needs are concerned. Unemployment, though, I, I really want to try and solve. I, I really want to try and get this number to a much more reasonable number uh, today, if possible, or at least make those first moves towards that solution today, if possible. Because, yeah, this is uh, not good. Now, the, another thing that's not good is it's been pointed out to me that the no education marker no longer includes babies. There was an update at some point, must have slipped under my radar, but there was an update at some point that removes babies from the uh, from the no education um, uh, pool, I guess. So, yikes, is all I guess I have to say to that. Uh, however, on the bright side, take a look at the uh, charts. It looks like the number of the uneducated, or the, the not educated, I guess I should say, uh, has been dipping rather steadily, so that's promising. Uh, hopefully we can establish some more schools and take better care of, uh, of the education situation as well, because, um, yeah, if that doesn't include babies, yikes. Big yikes. 
Uh, however, I mean, it is good to see basic education on the rise. University education has been on the rise for a very long time, much more gradually. But you can almost see, if you look at that chart, you can see the inflection point of the green and red. You can see where one starts to increase and the other starts to very quickly uh, decrease in response. So that's all looking pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and uh, deal with uh, what I previously called the first order of business. Um, I made a slight mistake over here. Oh, you're, you're, you're construction. I'm like, where, why are you going to the Olympians? What? Yeah, okay. I wanted to go over here. These guys. No, okay. I wasn't sure. So there was a... Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right, so this is a problem. Uh, view line details. I need to... Actually, because you'll see what I did was I, I went into one of the individual buses and made an adjustment to their... Uh, um, to, to how they drop people off. That breaks everything. That, that breaks things. So I'm going to actually go ahead and... Uh, view line detail on this one. When I say breaks everything, it's not the end of the world, but it does, uh, you can see these guys have two different lines now, which obviously makes things hard for, uh, not just hard, but bad for our organization. I'm going to undo that. Yes, it carries the nothing over, but I, the, the, not, the, the name and the sanctity of, uh, of the line is, is preserved. And we're going to go ahead and unload. Go ahead and set it to 20%. Now, the thing is, at the mine, this is where we have to start getting picky, because normally we've needed a mix of, uh, of all worker types, but at the mine, we do not need um, people with a university education, I guess. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. So that way, anybody with a university education will continue onwards to where we need engineers and scientists and that kind of stuff, right? So uh, I feel like that ought to do the trick. Let's accept those changes. You'll see now they apply across the board. That was my bad. Again, thank you for catching that and pointing it out. This is why, again, like I always say, I read all of the comments. So if y'all spot something, if y'all have any feedback or realize that I haven't realized something, leave it in the comments and it will get read uh, and I will try and address it as soon as possible. Now, on the topic of comments, I asked y'all for your opinions last time with regards to uh, maybe, uh, let's call it faking the uh, the highway momentarily while we uh, wait for maybe an actual highway option uh, and it seems like those of you uh, that at least among those of you that had an opinion to share the shared opinion was that yes go ahead and do it uh, because otherwise we're not going to see as much uh, action on the highway we've already done it over here uh, and over here so that's you know good we could do it over here as well attach some of these guys now the thing is uh, again I don't love it but it lets the AI Basically, the thing is, right now, it's not. I don't think it's taking congestion into the in, into calculation properly. It's something that's in beta right now, traffic-based uh, pathfinding, and I just feel like they would go a lot faster if they just used the highway, even though the route is a little bit longer. Now, I could be wrong, but that's uh, that's that's one thing that I feel. The other thing I feel is it'd be nice to see more cars actually using the highway. So, why don't we go ahead and temporarily get these little uh, connections made? If we don't like it. Uh, we can always go in and demolish and, and, and rework these, right? Like, that's always an option. We've got you over here. This one's a little less tightly packed, so we can put this somewhere over, like, here, just so it's easier to demolish afterwards. Uh, and, and that should allow for more use of the highway. Uh, and then the same thing over here. I mean, this one, I think, is pretty much okay. I don't think this is the end of the world, though. I don't think this is the end of the world. I think this one's probably also fine. And uh, same goes over here. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, right? I might want to make this attachment like this. Um... It'll just be a little bit harder to, to clean these up. I know it's in for a penny, in for a pound, in for... What, what's it? Hmm. Actually, you know what? I was looking this up the other day. I forget why. It wasn't because of workers and resources. And I couldn't find an answer. What is the... Uh, what's the... the um, like, what's a fractional ruble? Is there a fractional ruble? What is the penny equivalent of a ruble? Or is everything in whole rubles? I mean, somebody out there has got to have the answer. I couldn't find one when I was looking it up. Uh, my Google foo might not be the best though, so maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, if somebody knows and can illuminate me, please, please do. I'm curious. What is a fractional ruble? Because again, dollars has cents, right? Uh, pounds of pennies. So what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? What? Uh, what do we got for rubles? Go and connect these guys as well. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> tangent aside, sorry. Uh, I feel like this should hopefully get more traffic on the uh, highways. I'm hoping that by using the dirt roads. They're a little invisible to the eye, at least. Uh, so that'll be that'll be helpful, I think. Um, but uh, but yeah, that should be that should be good. Again, I didn't see too much uh, uh, too much, or rather, any uh, opinions against this move. So uh, if they start cropping up now, 
then uh, you know I will be able to sort of take them into consideration and and respond to those as well. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think eventually. I'm hoping eventually we get an upgrade of the road. Uh, basically, like, you know, uh, another road option that is the highway that allows for higher speeds, like 160 or something. And then the AI will naturally conclude that these are the better paths to take. Uh, anyway, with that done, let's go ahead and hit play. I think we're good to move time forward now. Uh, progress over here will continue. Hopefully, we're going to start seeing the mining begin. It's been pointed out to me that, yes, we need chemicals up over here. I think what we'll do is we'll probably start importing chemicals um, relatively soon. I wonder if I shouldn't start doing that right now or... We drive chemicals over from Train Rexky because we are producing them um, over here, right? Got quite a bit stored. You know what? We have. We have a, why do we have. What are we doing here? Are we. Is production. Yeah, we're maxed out across the board. Are you kidding me? We're doing really well over here. Okay. Uh, wow. When did that work out? <laughs> I was coming here expecting to see a nightmare mode, but no, this is this is great. All right, cool. So chemicals are topped up over there, and they are topped up over here as well. So why don't we go ahead and, uh, yes, get ourselves a uh, truck to ship chemicals over. I was thinking I'd have to import them, but it looks like we have uh, decent numbers. It looks like we're okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Enough, uh, enough buses, enough buses. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, AMZ 5410 covered. I think we'll be able to move chemicals. Yes, it will. So why don't we get that going next? Well, this one's almost done, so we'll let that get completed. And then we'll, we'll s switch gears. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Lots of buses. I mean, I don't mind this if we want to uh, upgrade our old lines, right? This is, a, this is a way to do it, certainly. This is definitely a good way to do it. Finish depot. Make sure these guys are all here. I think I've got all of them. This was a... a ter I should have taken a much more organized approach to... Uh, Shifting these guys over. Need a place to go. Ah, topped up. All right, fair enough. Why don't we go ahead and um, pick a random line? Well, the custom lines for passengers. Oh, I can't do custom lines and for passenger at the same time. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, okay. Um, trying to figure out. RTF nuclear line. We don't need the capacity there just quite yet. We will want to upgrade it. Petrograd bus stop to Primo bus stop. Party Power Rail construction office. We have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot of lines. <laughs> we have a lot of lines. Let me... Uh, this, this is going to be... This is a uh, not so... Uh, not as clear as going to where I know we have trouble and then selecting one of the bus stops at uh, Krasna, perhaps. Or are we over here? Taking one of these buses. This is for students. Um, we, what we need is a passenger line. That's what we need. Also a school bus. Hang on. Okay, you're fine. Also a school bus, right? Where is my... Uh, where are my passenger lines? You. Yes. Go ahead and... View line detail. Then go all the way back over here. This is a bit messy, I know. And... Uh, that line to... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Do we have that orange? We do. Alright, so one and two and three. That line to all of these three. I want these guys going out and about and helping empty out those passengers because there are a lot of passengers that are uh, clogging up that one bus stop, you'll remember, right? And so hopefully this will help and this will get people moving around a bit more and able to you know shop and all that kind of stuff. So out they go. And that gives us the opportunity to move these guys in here instead. Uh, just making room for these buses, basically. And we'll, we'll come back and, and organize this stuff more cleanly uh, later. I think at one point we will do a session where we, uh, we, we investigate what needs upgrading the soonest and we'll get right on that. But this should allow for faster movement. I mean, look at how quick these buses are, right? It should prevent clogging up. We are seeing some clogging 
uh, from time to time at uh, at Krasna, all the way over here. Uh, you can see like the slowdowns over here. Right? These, these are not ideal circumstances, and you can see just how many passengers are waiting here at any given time. Uh, again, not ideal. Uh, students as well, truth be told, we should probably get more school buses over here too. And I wonder, where, where are you headed? You're going to... This one over here. Oh, okay. I wonder if I shouldn't specify which types of students get on here, right? Because we need children with a basic education to be taken uh, up there. I'm pretty sure the right ones get on, though. You know, none of the none of the young children got onto this bus. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Hard to know for sure, though. I do wonder if I shouldn't get uh, get some of those guys uh, upgraded buses. Uh, nonetheless, we'll we'll tackle that. Like I said, at some point we'll want to do a, a transit overview kind of a session, and we'll we'll get on that when the time comes. Now we have quite a few brownouts happening at Krasna. That means we're not providing enough power or uh, for, for all the, uh, the the buildings that are, are, are draining said power. I'm wondering how exactly I want to go about upgrading this. We have our lines that we can draw from over here, right? Of course, it's got to go. So I, I wish the game had like a flashlight or something, you know? I like how dark it gets at night, but like, I'd like to be able to continue working as well. I could pull another line out. I don't know if it's entirely necessary. Uh, where are we? Always, there we go. I don't know if we have enough already going through here. It's yellow right now, so I think it's at its upper limit, right? So I think we should probably pull uh, pull a new line out. However, a new line from here would be a uh, uh, would be a, a medium line. It would not be a high voltage line. I don't think we have another spot for another high voltage line, do we? We do not. All right. So this one over here is green. That tells me that it is getting um, you know enough power. Maybe we should split this one up instead. What do we have over here? If we go and take a look at medium. Yes, we do have spots to connect. I'm wondering if we... Because we already have one, two, three. Hmm. Power's not coming through to you enough. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I think what's going on here is um, that one line is overburdened. This one, this one line over here is overburdened. That's why we're seeing some flickering again. This line over here as well is uh, is, is perhaps a little overburdened. Okay, fair enough. You know what? We'll uh, we'll tackle electricity when it's nighttime. Because during the day, there are some other things I want to tackle instead. First of all, I want to get more of these uh, city hall and uh, accounting uh, offices down. Because they give us more specific information with regards to uh, statistics, right? So let's go ahead and get one down uh, for Krasna. We have a huge, again, unemployment problem, right? So let's take a look at where it is kind of at its worst. And uh, provide some jobs. Again, three times this number, right? So this will be 300 jobs technically in theory right um i wonder if we want to put it next to the campus or uh close to the uh the minister's offices i feel there's already an administration uh, administrative hub over here uh let's see let's see what our options are now if only i can find this thing <laughs> it's not technical services i know it's one of my mods um i've got i've got so many of them man i've got so many mods it's fantastic just how much the uh, community has already put into this game absolutely wild to me. Oh, City Hall. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so we have a couple of options. we got this, which we're obviously not going to do because it's... Uh... Oh, this is the one that goes underneath another building. Got this one over here. Commissar's office. 15 jobs. 10 jobs from this one. This is the one I like. Ooh, this is a more kind of a modern one. Oh, hello. 80 jobs. Oh, you know, this is... Okay. I was going to go with the... Uh... The, 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 the style we had previously, but I quite like this. I mean, okay, this is hard to resist. Oh, if I could if I could put it in up over here, I think I'd be very pleased. Alright, okay, moment of truth. Can we? Looks like we can. We can. Oh, we absolutely can. Okay, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Uh, lower terrain, auto build using rubles, please, and thank you. We're going to put the tower down over here. I think it's a nice spot for the tower. I think it's a nice spot for the tower, if we can fit it in, obviously. Are you seriously empty? 
We gotta make sure more people are being uh, bussed up over here, you know? Also curious if we are gonna see more action on the highway ever since we made that connection. Because it, it might not happen. It might not happen, right? Seeing one car coming down the highway is not... Uh, is not evidence enough of increased usage. We saw more than that last time. Alright, keep going, keep going. Here we go. Duty almost done. Gotta increase our reach to accelerate the rate. Okay, that might be enough. Take a look at our mods. Again, it doesn't employ as many people, unfortunately. But. But. You can get another one down elsewhere as well. It's Yes, employment is an issue I want to solve, but also I don't want to solve it at the cost of, you know, how good our nation looks or um, areas we've been zoning and stuff like that. Because that, that feels to me uh, to be like a little uh, uh, immersion breaking, right? It's just like, it feels like we've thrown city planning out the window for a city building game, and that's kind of anathema. Anathema? Anathema? Never known. Never known. It's like antithesis. You know, it's one of those words. It's not antithesis, it's antithesis. It's like, eh, English, you do you, buddy. You you do you. <laughs> Go ahead and hook you up like that, and hook you up like this. You know, I should have just gone ahead and done this. There you go. Okay, for these. Now, this should be built, hopefully, quickly. I want to make sure we're providing those jobs, right? Get Zavotsk involved as well. Again, we, we built those highway connections to uh, facilitate these kinds of moves, right? And from over here, yeah, once uh, once this works out, so 80 jobs technically, it will be 80 times um, 3, right? So 240. And I think that's, uh, you know what I would like, actually? Alright, I'm sorry. I try not to do this, but, but, construction hadn't fully started yet. It can just be adjusted. This is, this is one of those, like, centerpieces, you know, as far as our uh, city are, is concerned. That's one of the, like, centerpieces of, uh, of, uh, like, of, of, of things. <laughs> it's a hub of sorts, so I want to kind of get this to look as good as possible. Now, it looks like that is the best we're going to get, kind of. It was just, I wanted it to be a bit more close to that bus stop, but I don't think we can do that. Oh, we can do this, though. Hmm. You know what, that actually is a little bit better. I'm glad I took the time to do that. I mean, gotta go pretty far for that. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop you down. Like. So. Cool. I know it seems marginal, but I noticed it and I can't lie to myself. <laughs> Here we go. Hook you guys up like this. Excellent. Pay for that, and now we can go ahead and assign Zotcha, the helicopter, Uprising Grad, and Zavotsk construction offices. Beauty. Done. Done. Get the work done. Get the get the jobs out. So that'll that'll cover all of Krasna. St. Elitsburg, I think, is not covered. This is Studensky, yeah. So St. Elitsburg needs a uh, sort of municipal office as well. I, I is that the right term? I, I guess that's the right term, right? Again, that's that's one of the things that's always thrown me off. It's like municipal is like at a city level, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll look for construction, mo oh, mods, and get one of these bad boys down. Again, I quite like their uh, their aesthetic, and, and these it, it, they fit more nicely into into this uh, lot, you know? I'll pop you down over here. <laughs> Have a government building uh, only a handful of meters away from a broadcasting center. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Is there, there is the bus stop up over here. This would be, people will be able to reach down there, certainly, yes. A lot of workers waiting over here. All coming from up over there, eh? We're not dropping people off over here, we're picking them up. I wonder if I can't adjust some of the stuff going on over here instead. If I go from above ground to underground, right, will, how badly will I hurt uh, the power provision from up over here? This won't even fit up over here. And it'll have to go down over here. Or perhaps like so. If I do it like this. Look path connection. I'd have to demolish quite a bit. Hmm. Not the biggest fan of that, I'll be honest. Um, where else? Where else do we have a good spot? Up over here, right by the trains. 
That, that, that wouldn't be an upsetting place to work. Infrastructure. Always kills me. Always kills me. Alright, you know what? I feel like this is not a bad spot. Let's see the reach on these guys. How far can you go? Oh, you know, they might actually be able to find jobs down over here. Unemployment? Oh, that's not what I meant. Worker was unemployed yesterday. Alright, these guys will be able to get down there. That's about 64. What about these guys? Should be fine. 400 meters is the, uh, the, the walking limit, if I'm not mistaken. These guys are out of the uh, equation. These guys might be too. Alright, worth the shot. Worth, worth the experiment. Alright, worth the experiment. Let's try it. Go down over here. Need some flat terrain, it says. Right at the back there. Go ahead and level terrain from center. Flap this out. I think this is good. I mean, we also have the bus stop down over... Oh, no, we just have cars over here. I wonder if I need to get a bus stop down over here, actually. Hmm. Something to consider. We are decently employed. Yeah, we're providing decent employment up over here. Looks like the sun is about to set as well. Or it's just the rain coming through. Uh, from center. There we go. And let's just pay for it. It's so much faster when you pay for terraforming. It's just, like, so much faster. All right, what are we looking at? Like so. Hook you up over here as close as we can get. Flatten a bit more and we'll probably be able to get even closer. It's about the uh, the steepness as well though. And it looks like this is raising train up a little bit too much. Potentially. Okay, come on. That perfect lineup. Hardly perfect. Oh, come on. I think that's about as close as we're going to get. Alright, fair enough. So if I do this, I don't think we're going to get the hookup, though. Yo, this is absolutely killing me. Alright, let's, let's do this. Sure, let's try that. A little bit closer, maybe? No. Right over here. Okay, not auto-building. Get you down, this is obviously not going to be reachable. I guess I could pay for that, but it's not going to help. Too steep of a descent. Hook you up like that. Hook you up like that. Yep. No. It's got to be uh, at least slightly curved. Alright, so what if I do this? I was hoping it would look a little bit nicer, you know? Alright. Cancel that nonsense. Hook you up like this. And then pull this out like that instead. Sure. But, can people actually reach it? That's the question. Just these... This one building, actually. Oh, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I'm trying to figure out what I could maybe do to facilitate people reaching it, or if I need to start... Again, it's kind of silly to bring people down to this bus, which is already busy. You know, this bus stop, rather, which is already busy, only to have them... <laughs> like... Uh, that doesn't make sense. I just gotta shift this a little bit. I'll demolish you. Go ahead and demolish... You as well. And cancel this footpath. This footpath as well. Away with you. Alright, I think I just need to rework this. I think it would make much more sense. And then people would be able to get jobs over here. Because the further we go over here, the closer we get to Krasna as opposed to uh, uh, St. Leedsburg, right? I could potentially also do it up over here. But not as many unemployed. Not as much of a problem over there. Not not like this. Not, not, not quite like this. Okay, so if I'm going to put down... This bad boy. I would need to shift everything over here. Over a little. How much is this going to absolutely break? Right. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, if I pull you a little bit further back... Maybe we have some wiggle room here. Need flat terrain. Okay, let's try this. Lower terrain. You know what? We'll get to this in a bit. There's a, there's a, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Right, so power. There's a problem. Where? Like everywhere. Why am I not seeing my underground connections? Where are we at? Way too far up there. There we go, that's why. No? Hang on, what's going on here? I'm completely thrown off. Okay, there we go. Up over here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Wow. Nation's grown too big. Now, these guys are just yellow this time around. They're not red anymore. Oh, right. That's because 
I gotta have this thing open. There we go. So, how can I help this? I feel like we're drawing too much from, from this, you know? Uh, I wonder if... Okay, let's let's try something here. I pull you out to here. Right. Button cancel. This entire section. Up like so. Too sharp of a turn. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Too sharp of a turn. Are you over? Are you over even more? There we go. Sure. Pay for you. So we'll see what happens to that when it uh, it comes to. Because the thing is, I want to. The sun's already come up. All right, fair enough. The thing is, I, I want to um, pull this one down here to supply over here if uh, if need be. All right, back to unemployment then. Uh, so up top over here, we'll actually need to have a power conversation for this as well. Uh, but that's more construction related than anything else. So medium voltage. We get the substation set up somewhere down over here. So right now over here. Right, these are all the buildings that you're supplying power to. If I move you over, we still have these buildings included. And we get some more included over here, which will hopefully not cause... Hopefully won't cause us too much trouble. We can pop you down like this. Put you all the way to there, sure. Do that, right? Then this power can go up over there instead. Um, but we will need a switch. We will need a switch. Now the switch could go out somewhere like over here. Though, right, what was I saying? I need to flatten this terrain. Try this out first. Let's try this out first. So, flatten this terrain. Again, this is all raised to have this uh, bridge thing happening over here, right? Flatten that. Yeah, then that looks okay. Yep. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. Get the city hall down over here. Have to do the infrastructure. Need flat terrain. Okay. And from center, lower this a bit more. Pay for it. Again, the, the whole footprint thing can be a little funky at times. Ah, I can't put it infrastructure. That's really unfortunate. Alright, so then we'd have to do something like this, I guess. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So I need to get a switch down. Over... Here, roughly. Roughly. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna pause for a second. Demolish all of this. Get rid of you as well, please. Alright. Let's try and remember these lines that need uh, hooking up. All this for an accounting office. All this for an accounting office. You know, every once in a while you gotta re uh, restructure your. Uh, your infrastructure. All right, what was it doing again? The switch, amplitude to infrastructure. I guess I could butt up right against this, right? And that should be fine. Pop you down like that. Yes, hope there's never any fire. Go ahead and cancel these wires over here all the way down to there. We're gonna go underground now. So pull you up this way. Pull you over and up like so. There, there we go. It's not it's not perfect. Literally we'll never see it. I don't know why I bother with this stuff, man. It's a problem. Pull you a little bit further out. Up we go. Sure, I'll take it. Then from here we'll go down here. Right, again, the, the switch is doing the exact same thing that I was doing before. Down to there. Get you up. Go ahead and cancel these wires and hook you up. I wonder, again, if I really want to follow the bends of the roads for any reason. I, I'm just worried about like, oh yeah, eventually this will be infrastructure that's in the way of something else, you know? So just trying to hug what we already kind of have to hug um, as far as roads and stuff are concerned above ground. Oh, sure, that's fine. That's... Damn. There we go. 
be out like so. I'm going to sign it better. You see what I mean? Infrastructure in the way. It's like, what? The footpath's above us. I understand it might have something underground, like portions of it underground, but come on. Do that kind of a thing. And sure, I'll take that. Cool. Pay for all that. Go ahead and pay for this and for this. I'm really hoping I'm not uh, overburdening this one spot. Uh, not just this one spot, but the, um, the, the, the wires over here. That could be a problem, right? All right. Go ahead and let that happen. And let's get our accounting hall down over. Yeah, I guess I got to do this one too. That's a bit more concerning because it uh, hours a lot more. Hours a hell of a lot more. Goes all the way to here, and then it gets split up in all these directions. Like this could be a this could be a bad move. This could be a bad move. We'll find out. Shift you over like that. What's the worst that could happen, as I like to say? There, hook you up like that. Cool. That should do the trick. Room enough? Yes, room enough. Cool. Go ahead and establish you as close as possible. Go ahead and flatten the train, please. It's, it's allowed to get awfully close to the... Um, that uh, switch, eh? Really close. Get a little bit further down. We can. Don't like that. Sure. Let's do this. Not auto building. Pop you down over here. Go ahead and get our um, footpath. I don't know why I didn't auto connect. Yeah, we should be fine. So get you hooked up there. And get this hooked up over here as well. I'm going to find a nice way to do it. I want to make sure people are able to come over here to work, right? Um... Like so, and then like so, just extending the footpath on this uh, this road, basically. Go ahead and pay for you. Electricity problem. Is it just a... What have we done? No, no, okay, it's still, it's fluctuating. But now it's fluctuating during the day. That is not ideal. But you shouldn't be affected. Not by the changes we've made up there. You're getting power from where? Oh, you know what? Hmm... Yikes. Yeah, 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 that's, uh, not ideal. Okay, you know what? Hang on. Back to the infrastructure. I'm fairly certain we'll be able to, uh... Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's get some, uh, above-ground wires over here. At least for now. We'll, we'll eventually maybe, uh, find another underground solution, so this area will look just as uh, neat as it did moments ago. But for now, let's go ahead and hook this up. Pay for that. And that should now be okay. At least during the day, right? During the night, we're still stressing the... Oh, hello. Or maybe not. Has this always been a problem and it's just my first time noticing it? I wouldn't be surprised. We are overwhelming this grid. I need to come... I need to... This is like a full dedicated episode. I can't, like, do this partly here and there and, and hope it all works out. But hey, we've got these jobs showing up over here. Let's go ahead and assign some construction offices once we build this road. Pay for the road again. Not a big, uh, not a big deal. Zotch, uh, Uprising Grad getting involved. Let's get Zavotsk coming down here as well, please. And the Uprising Grad construction office too. Good stuff. Get this built. Again, now this people should be able to reach, right? Lots of people from all these uh, buildings. Yeah, good. So, again, that should be about 300 jobs. In the meanwhile as well, while we're actually doing construction, it's about 600 jobs, so that'll help. But let's not rest on our laurels just quite yet. Um, we have got more unemployment to tackle. That'll help these guys out. These guys, I mean, yeah, they should be able to buy vehicles now. No cars to sell anymore. I wonder if I shouldn't. Uh... Well, we do have we do have some coming over, right? We've got the um... yeah. This guy should be bringing some cars over. Where you at, buddy? I keep forgetting they move this uh, view vehicle button up over there. I'm seriously, shipping a truck around? Didn't do that. But... Oh, that vehicle. The reason why it's shipping the truck around is because a long, long time ago now, we uh, we got these trucks done. Let's go ahead and change your production to some of the uh, cars. Sure, let's go with. Do we have a yellow option? Yes, we do. Not my favorite yellow, I'll be honest. It's a lot of co color options, actually. There you go. And let's go ahead and get these guys 
What am I trying to do with these guys? Ship chemicals. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and move you up over here. Because they, they, they got to come here anyway, right? Well, this would probably be faster. Oh, well. Better this than nothing, I suppose. Other options, of course, to get uh, the buses more... Alright, fine. Let's do these buses. <laughs> Like, the other option makes more sense. I could hear the voice in the back of my head, and then I started saying it out loud, and I'm like, yeah, I should do that instead. All right. What do we have here? You are bringing students. You are bringing workers. All right, wonderful. Go ahead and get the minister's shuttle bus upgraded a bit. Set line. Ooh. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, view line details. There we go. Set line to... One, two of these. Started. We'll, we'll eventually get rid of some of these ICAR 280s, I think, right? We, we won't need as many eventually. Uh, and then we can slowly, yeah, upgrade our uh, our transit system. Could move you and you over. I'm not going to overdo it. I think just two trucks will do the trick for now. Uh, what do we want to do with these guys? We want to go ahead and move you from here, picking up wonder if I should do that, actually. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. Because that'll probably slow everything down if we clog up this warehouse. So instead, go here uh, and load chemicals. And then go all the way down over to the long trip. Over to here. To unload chemicals. Cool. Get rid of this stuff. And let's go ahead and... Sign that. Where's my where's my other truck? I'm assuming this is it. Yeah. Go ahead and copy that schedule over to you, beauty. Then we'll have chemicals moving, and let's actually see if uh, if workers are, are getting where they need to get to. Right? Do we have the mines being used here? No workers. All right, we'll take a look at that. Uh, I need to get this thing built as well. I think we'll just pay for it. Nothing can reach here. The choppers can't land. Uh, I might be able to. Building in the way. Building in the way. Infrastructure in the way. Yeah, it's one of those annoying situations. I don't think I'll be able to build this. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So we'll pay for it. This will be essential down the line. Might as well get it done right now, right? Uh, but yeah, no, nobody's coming here yet. And let me just see where these buses are going. We've got... Uh, I don't care, 256. Those are construction buses. Like, people are all very eager to work up over here instead. It's like, great. They want to work here because they can just sit and, and do absolutely nothing because they know nothing else is uh, available. The question is, are there any... No, no, we've got... Oh, you know what? You know what it might be? No, we, we don't... Not everybody here has a university education. Oh, or maybe they do. Damn. Our population is over-educated. All right, fair enough. I'll have to make an adjustment to this line then. Where is it? Grab you, you line details, and sure. Let everybody off over here as well. That's why I, I tend, that's one of the reasons rather why I tend not to uh, specify education level with uh, with offloading passengers. Is our um, our nation's just too smart? All right, work was unemployed yesterday. We also have the, uh, the I mean, the education problem, right? One student here. Whoa, okay. Or we don't have a problem. See, this is what doesn't track for me. Is like we have um, a lot of people lacking um, education, and yet when I look at children can't go to school, I, the numbers are not that high, and, and so that would tell me that kids are going to school just fine. What's possible is when kids are chilling in the schoolyard. It doesn't. It, it still counts them as having gone to school, even though they're not getting an education. I don't know. I don't know. These are a lot of very old children who still haven't graduated from uh, from school. I mean, 18, 19 is fine. 16 is when they turn into the adult-looking thing. Okay, fair enough. I wish. Can we not find education level on educated workers? There we go. They've done this a lot sooner. Uneducated workers, I'm seeing 
None. I'm seeing no uneducated workers. You for real? Yeah. So... Either <laughs> this is wrong, or we have actually got full education uh, for all of our adults. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, it's one or the other. Oh man, look at that. Sorry, I just, I, I just panning over like this and seeing the, the trees reveal the city behind is quite nice. Also in this lighting, are you kidding me? Come on. That's great. How's our tower back over here looking? Still under construction? Yeah, still under construction. Oh, but they're, they're, they're getting work done over here. Look at that. Look at the lineup over here. That's good. I, I really like this space quite a bit. Man, I just can't... <laughs> Especially on this lighting, the, the game looks great. The game looks great. We got this happening as well over here. Yeah, looks like a pretty busy, uh, busy construction season. This is a big plot of land. I'm glad we're finally doing something with it. that back late. Oh, look at that sun set off in the distance there. This game is beautiful sometimes. Sorry, I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wasting some time over here. I apologize. I just uh, do get enamored by the look of the game from time to time. This, though, this is this is nice. I'm, I'm really excited to see this uh, power over here done and see how it uh, impacts the employment and stuff as well, right? All right. Enough gushing. <laughs> Resume time. We, 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 we caught that golden hour just before the sun set. For real. Uh, okay. Infrastructure. Take a look at this. So we have what? We've got this freed up. I wonder if we establish another substation. We've got like three over here. We've got one, two, three over here. For real. These guys look like they're actually fine with all the shared uh, responsibility. Up top over here and then down over here we have trouble. Okay. Okay, let's see. So if I pull that line out, I could get a substation set up. Maybe one exclusively for the, uh, for the university. Kind of like right at the end over here. I don't mind that. Like its own backup uh, power so that um, this the learning never stops. Copy down there, sure. Alright, so that's that. We'll need a switch over here. So you'll come up from here. Over this way. Pop this down like so over here. And this will hook up. Over to you. Thank you. Go ahead and establish you like this instead. Sure. Hook this up. Yeah, that's better. Good enough. Hook this up over here. Some other infrastructure in the way. It's like, I don't... What do you mean some other infrastructure is in the way? This wall? You can't build under this wall? I gotta go like deep underground. Pressing Q to go deeper. Get past this basically. And then hooking up to this. Okay, great. Sure. Oh, fine. I guess the wall has a deep foundation. Has the sun seriously come up already? How, wow, why is it so fast? When I need it to be dark, it's been a lot faster stop being, like, stopping being dark. Need more power over here still, don't I? Well, Alright, for now, let's go ahead and establish these guys. See if that helps us. Establish you and establish as well please we'll see if that uh gets us what we need now it's been pointed out to me that at this uh bus stop i might want to actually tell people uh, where to go to work because um that works a bit better Got a lot of passengers waiting over here i wonder if, if, if students become passengers or, or what happens there a lot of people drop off we still have room all right let's go ahead and i mean like how do i even split this up right like I need, well, workers, unf it's, it's unfortunate because some of these numbers are actually okay, and I feel like I'll break it more by assigning uh, destinations, you know? That's my concern. 
I just realized also up over here. We're doing quite well. Let's max this out. See if more people can't come through. We're, we're actually over 50% done this already. That's a bit faster than I expected. I am playing at one speed. For a second there, I felt like I was at double speed. Alright, unemployment. Um, so these guys are currently employed here. So again, like I was saying, let's not rest on our laurels or anything. A lot of these guys are working over here, and that's why our unemployment has plummeted by about a thousand or so, right? Take a look at this here as a whole. That dip over there, that's all the construction. Uh, what else do we need over here? We have options. We have... <laughs> just put down a bunch of car dealers. It's been suggested we should put down some more mines. That's not a bad idea. It's just mine mine away and uh, and export whatever we uh, uh, we mine, right? It makes perfect sense. Uh, and I will be establishing more mines. There are other industries I want to establish as well. I've touched on this before with regards to... Um, uh, with regards to uh, the, the the airplane manufacturing, right? So that will be something to consider as well. But for now, I would really like to get more... Um, I saw more like service industry related things established. Fire stations, getting fire stations built also probably not a bad idea. Provides employment, also helps fight fires. We've been on the ball with them lately, but you never know when that changes. Perhaps schools are, are a good call. Supposedly, everybody's getting an education, but I don't know, man. I just don't know. Like, do they circle around? If anybody has a better idea of how exactly this works, please don't hesitate to share. Because, again, we're not seeing any uneducated workers, right? Like, the school situation over here was terrible until, well, even after we've built the second school and kindergarten, the school situation over here was terrible. We're not seeing any uneducated workers over here either, so... I don't know. I don't know what that uh, what that says, but hey, look. Go ahead and get uh, a couple schools down. Probably some schools that provide more employment rather than not. I want one of these. Hmm. Vocational schools. Right, one of these fancy ones. A little too big, I think, to, to retrofit. What we'll need to do is like bus people over. All right, how about down over here we finally get that radio station I've been talking about? Or, or somewhere in the general area we get that radio station I've been talking about. Or perhaps a cinema or something for, for cultural uh, coverage. Radio station or broadcasting, there we go. Uh, state opera and ballet theater. Ooh, okay, you know, that, that, that feels good to me. Go ahead and establish you over here. It'll provide more jobs for, like, this neighborhood, right? So close. So close to being able to fit. I wonder if we move those power lines just a little bit further down, you know? Might not be a bad idea. Go ahead and clean this up. I, I don't think switching those to underground is the best idea since they supply so much power to, like, everything up over here. I think those need to stay above ground. I wonder how clean the broadcast is when, uh... When the uh, the building is surrounded by wires like this, though, go ahead and flatten the train here. And again, not everybody will be able to reach this spot, but I'm hoping lots of people maybe drive down to work over here, or uh, or you know some people from over here uh, head down. I'm gonna go ahead and establish. Where'd you go, buddy? Thought I had you there for a second. Nope, that's not gonna fly. Right from center, auto build. Gotta raise all this up, perhaps. Gotta match the road, right? Oh, gotta lower it even more, apparently. Okay, fair enough. How about now? Flatten you? Come on. Work with me here. That's weird. This is a clean intersection. It should be able to join up there. Oh, there we go. Need more room, I guess, to get the, uh, the drop there fitting. Fine. The footpaths don't connect. Alright, let's see. Pop you down like this, no auto build. Foot path, like so. Sure. This did not connect. Flatten a bit. Alright, cool. Go ahead and build that. And let's go ahead and upgrade you as well. There we go. Sure. And you know what? Why don't we add some trees? It's been pointed out I should probably get some more trees and stuff down from time to time. Get some more green in these urban centers. Break up some of the uh, the concrete, the grays. And that'll be nice. Now again, how many people can reach over here? 
again, just from these two buildings. Now that's fine, because if they work down there and these guys work over here, I think we'll be okay. It's been pointed out, though, uh, that I've potentially assigned destinations for workers. I don't think I've done that in quite some time now. Not on mass, not like this. I think the unemployment is just by virtue of, yeah, not having the jobs. I don't think these guys have uh, assigned uh, spots to go to work. All right. What are we looking at? Up over here. Almost done. Good stuff. Missing some bricks, it says. A lot of unemployment up over here. You're kidding me. It's because you're not getting work at the mine. Oh, well, we're still not seeing any workers at the mine. Like, what are the chances? All workers on that bus. Well, okay, that, 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 that's actually strange. I really need to watch this at least once. Is how can we have 12 workers on this bus up over here, but absolutely zero at this mine? Oh, we've got three. Oh, I guess they were just taking some time to get down here. Hey. We're producing uranium. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Our first half ton of uranium. Oh, maybe not even our first because it's scooped up over here. All right. All right. Interesting times ahead. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, the uh, the cogs are starting to turn on this engine. On this machine, as it were. Nine workers just chilling up over there. Alright, this is all built up. This should be fine. I'm curious, actually. Come up over here. You go up this way. Hmm. Have I got a broken connection here? Is let's see. You produce UF6. All oh, right, UF6 has to be moved in. Uh, moved by uh, moved by containers or or what was it again? It was, uh, I think specific trucks, right? The the closed trucks was it? Um, best way to find out. Ultimately, vehicle depot, I suppose. I vaguely remember the comment. I apologize for not having it. Uh, Completely memorized, but if y'all uh, if y'all remember what it was, or if you have it uh, top of your mind, what it was that I need here, I I thought it was a covered hull truck, but I might be mistaken. And these guys move uranium. I think it's an open hull truck. Um. With a with a, uh, with a storage uh, container. Uranium oxide. And these guys make. UF6, yeah. Now what I don't know is, will they pack it themselves? No containers stored, it says, so I would assume no. But am I going to need a... Uh... Oh jeez, I don't even know where it uh, falls into storage and warehouse. Am I going to need a container loading facility? Can't import uh, UF6. So that doesn't make sense. I I, I assume that uh, when these things are produced, they end up as, uh, as 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 containers, and it'll say, "Oh, X number of containers stored," and then a truck will come pick up the container and take it over, which would mean we need an open haul truck. But I'm not going to jump to that conclusion. Got chemicals arriving over here, excellent, but we do not have them being sent around because we have no forklifts over here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and? Why don't we go ahead and establish this wind power plant up top over here, just to make sure the uh, the, the 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 forklift facilities and stuff all have power. That should be good. Go ahead and plant them this, please. I'll auto build because we're going to be auto building the uh, giant fan anyway. There we go. Come on now. Beauty. Go for it. And then let's go ahead and get uh, fuel sent up over here. Again, we want to try and build a more efficient fuel delivery mechanism as well, right? Trying to get a little uh, cumbersome bringing the fuel all the way up over here. In fact, sorry, it's been pointed out. I should. What I should do is I should get fuel distributed from here instead. Right. We have to make that change earlier. Let's go ahead and add. Because we're shipping it up to here. And once it gets shipped up to here, we should deliver to these locations 
from uh, from here. It's so much closer. It's much. It's a much shorter ride. Got that set up. Excellent. And then down over here, we can cancel the old one, which I believe was assigned to you. Yes. Go ahead and get rid of this. Good. Again, excellent suggestions always come through in the comments. I always read them all, folks. So. Uh, keep them coming because yeah now what's gonna happen is the ship is going to well the trucks and the, the train rather is going to bring fuel up over here the ship is going to take it across and the truck is going to take it from here uh, down to here which is I think a lot faster because again there's a train involved I think that's a lot faster than uh, than using the truck to go from start to finish I'll take a quick look over here yeah we got plenty of fuel we should be okay we should be okay oh man how are things looking up over here where are we? This nation's grown massive. Oh, there it is. All right, that looks pretty good. I like that. I like how it it, it mostly fits in. It's a little different. I mean, because the 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 base is a little different, but it mostly fits in architecturally. The the tall windows are a little different as well. But uh, you know what? Also, the white is a little different. But those are all little nitpicks. They're not meant to be from the same line or anything. I just uh, they just happen to look like they work together. That, though, I think is really quite nice. It really kind of puts it all, sort of pulls it all together, I would say. And visually as well, it, uh, I think it looks quite good. Look at that. Look at those colors, man. Again, we managed to catch this uh, just before the sunset. Look at that depth of field as well. Not overdone, not cartoonish, you know, not, uh, not dramatic fairly accurate depth of field that you would use for a shot like this on a camera, right? Like aperture settings and stuff like that. Love it. Oh, and look at that. The future of our nation. You can see it from uh, from this tower. That vast expanse. Beautiful seeing the, the colors fade in the distance and stuff too. I quite like this. And hopefully, again, this will help with some of our uh, worker woes, <laughs> as it were. Uh, but uh, we'll see, right? I mean, this is... Uh, it's going to start filling up, and we'll have some data available. We'll know exactly what to do next, next time. Folks, hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do, what I don't do, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. As always, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.